President Barack Obama is announcing new rules to help more struggling homeowners take advantage of lower mortgage rates. During a meeting with homeowners in Las Vegas Monday, Obama said the sagging real estate market means too many homeowners are hurting through no fault of their own. When a home loses its value, a family loses a big chunk of their wealth. Paying off mortgage debt means that consumers are spending less and businesses are making less and jobs are harder to come by. The new rules expand eligibility for the government's refinancing program. People who are deeply underwater on their mortgages now qualify, and the changes help reduce the costs of refinancing. But there are still restrictions on who can apply for the program, meaning the number of people who take advantage is likely to be small. You're probably talking about at most uh, three, four hundred thousand, which I wouldn't say is trivial, but it's not, it's not a game changer. It doesn't change the picture in a big way. Thus far in the Republican primary, debate over how to stem the foreclosure crisis has been almost non-existent. During a debate last week in Nevada, one of the state's hardest hit by foreclosures, most candidates deflected questions about how they would heal the housing market. The right course is to let markets work. And in order to get markets to work and to help people, the best thing we can do is to get the economy going. And that's why the fundamental restructuring I've described is so essential to help homeowners and people across this country. People who, uh, who, who did things that were wrong, did, invested in things, took risks, were bailed out, and the folks who, who were acted responsibly are now getting hurt because their houses have gone down in value. The Obama administration is enacting the refinancing changes through executive action and without the approval of Congress. It's part of the administration's new strategy aimed at circumventing congressional opposition and showing that the president is taking action on the economy on his own. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.